All right, we've been doing question three now. So as you can see, we actually have four sets in which we could actually write in pencil as much as possible what the elements inside each set are. Okay, so very for the first one, very quickly, I'll just write it out. Positive integer and any number that's actually less than 20. So we definitely have one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way till 19. Okay, less than 20, so all the way till 19 only. Next, x is a number divisible by 3. Okay, bear in mind these sets, these numbers have to fall within our universal set. So definitely we start with 3, we have 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18. Okay, we do not continue anymore because the, it's pointless because they don't fall in our universal set. That's our biggest boundary. Next, a perfect square. What are such numbers? 1, 4, yes. 9 and 16. So what is the definition of a perfect square? It means that these numbers actually, when I try to square root them, I will still get back a whole number. So I square root 4, I'll get 2. Square root 9, I'll get 3. Square root 16, I'll get 4. Okay. Last but not least, we have factors of 24. So we have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. So just double check. 1 times 24 gives me 24. 2 times 12 gives me 24. 3 times 8 gives me 24. And 4 times 6 gives me 24. So what I've done is completely listed out every single element in the set. Okay, in all these four sets. So now, question A. P union Q. Meaning union meaning I want everything inside P and everything inside Q. So you see, after listing out, all I have to do is just copy it down in ascending order. 1, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, and 18. That's it. Next, the number of elements inside the set of P intersect R. So let us first list down what consists of the set P intersect R. Recall, intersect means in common. So let's take a look at P and R. What numbers are shared between the two? Obviously, we have 3. Do we have 4? No, we have 6. We have 12. And that's it. Double check again. 3, 6, 12. 3, 6, 12. Anything else? None. So we have the whole set of P intersect R. So the number of elements inside P in the sec R simply is 3. Number of 3 elements inside here and that's it.